Hello, I'm Janet. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about this old cookbook from my great grandmother. So this is the Searchlight Household Recipe Book and inside it says it is from 1938. Now according to my research this book was not printed very long, maybe about 20 years or so. It was a very common household cookbook during that era and according to my grandmother her mother used this book a lot now inside if we open it up she decided to glue in some directions oops it's coming apart she decided to glue in directions from the waffle iron that she um, bought automatic waffle iron and this waffle iron came from the Superior Electric Company I believe some of it's missing it's a little holy um, I did a little deep dive into waffle irons and it turns out waffle irons were actually around for a really long time General Electric patented the first electric waffle iron in 1911 and according to the Smithsonian websites, there were several kinds of waffle irons way before that. They said e they found one even as early as the 1300s. Now, it wasn't as compact or as small as our modern waffle irons. It looked like this big, huge, giant metal contraption that you needed a room for. For some reason, she decided to write a waffle iron recipe in this front cover here in orange. Um, so I assume it's really important. I'm going to show you how I made my great grandmother's waffles. I'm going to follow the directions exactly how she wrote them, but I'm going to use my own personal waffle iron because I do not have a waffle iron from the 1950s. Let's check it out.
This is not your average waffle recipe. These waffles are buttery and fluffy. It gets better with every bite. This is a for sure a special occasion waffle. It took me 30 minutes to make. I'm usually not that patient with my breakfast. Nonetheless, it was worth it. I really love antique cookbooks. I think it's really neat to look back and see how people lived, how people cooked, what they cooked with, what was popular, those kinds of things. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see me cook from this cookbook, let me know. There's tons of things, muffins, cookies, cakes, you name it. It's in here. Thanks for watching. I hope all your recipes turn out yummy.